Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Skyrockets. My name is Skylar and this is my 15th video for my channel. Now today I will be doing my review on Dune Part 2. I recently just came out with Dune Part 1 review so go check that one out. I did give a little summary of what kind of happens in it. I mean not the whole story just like the premise. So if you don't know what Dune is really about go ahead check that out. But to summarize for those of you that just came to Dune Part 2. The Atreides family went to the planet Arrakis to continue spice production. Spice being a resource that people kind of want or rely on. It's like basically like one of those things where it's like people are like, I want that resource, you know? So <clears throat> they'll do whatever they want to get it. Anyway, the Atreides family go to the planet Arrakis to continue or take over the spice production for the Emperor. Uh, the Harkins, which were originally doing it, did not like that. So they ambush the... They ambush the Atreides family and kill some of the members. And then some of the other members survive and they go to find the Fre Fremen. Freeman. Fremen. Fremen. Those are the people that inhabit Arrakis, like they're the native people there, and they join forces with the Fremen to learn their ways and get revenge upon the Arkans. <clears throat> so basically, they learn the Fremen ways in this one, and they start fighting back against the Harkins and the Emperor. So part one is basically the pre-war type of plot. Whereas this one is the, like, war beginning even more, pretty much. So, there is going to be a part three. Yeah, there's going to be a part three. So, this is de this is what I heard from articles and stuff I read. It's planned to be a trilogy. So, the next one coming out should be Dune Messiah. And, yeah. Now, to go over the review of this movie itself, I will definitely say this is better than part one. It's more action-packed. The story is better. Like, it's just better overall, honestly. I mean, the effects are still pretty much the same as the first, and but the story is different. The characters are all the same, yada, yada. The soundtrack is still amazing. Pretty much everything from the first put into this movie still amazing but the plot was better it was more entertaining like for sure like i enjoyed it timothy chalamet did a great job as paul zendaya was finally like introduced as like a main protagonist i mean she was introduced in part one but not a big part but she played good as chani paul's love interest which oh when you see the end man i I want to say stuff, but I'm not going to. Christopher Walken did a great job as the Emperor. Like, oh, I haven't seen that man in a while <laughs> in movies. Florence Pugh, I love her. She's literally one of my celeb crushes. Oh, but she did a great job as the princess. And oh, man, I can't wait to see what happens with her in Marvel. So Rebecca Ferguson did great as Jessica, Paul's mother. David Bautista still did good as the nephew of the Baron, uh, Glos Glossu Ro Robin was his name. Stellan Skarsgård did great as the Baron. Josh Brolin did great as Gurney. I feel like I just kind of spoiled something there, <laughs> but I don't know for sure. Uh, anyway, the cast was great. The acting was great. Plot story was great. Soundtrack slash composition music was great. Just It was basically the first one just better in like certain ways so if you like the first one definitely go see this one because this one is better in so many ways i give this one a eight out of ten still i mean just like part one i gave it eight out of ten because again i'm not like a huge like i love it type of person but i did enjoy it maybe like an eight and a half actually i'll give it like an 8.5 out of 10 yeah so definitely go check it out and if you like my content please like and subscribe to my channel if you don't like my content i still recommend you like and subscribe to my channel because you know hey <laughs> but i'll catch y'all with the next flick <laughs>